Hey guys, welcome back to my channel called How To. Today we will see how we can install uh, Windows Server 2019 into our VMware Workstation. Okay, so I'm going to use my browser for downloading uh, ISO file for uh, Windows Server 2019. For which I'll just quickly type download Windows Server 2019 and I'll just click on Microsoft Server. I'll just uh, paste this link for your friends so that you can just click on this link and come here and download the file. So for me, I'm going to use a uh, 64-bit edition iOS download. Uh, so this is the uh, link I, I, I want for me, right? Uh, so this is the file in, in, in the language would be English and ISO file for 64-bit edition. Uh, once I'll just like you know click it right uh, it will just prompt me for saving this file uh, you can just save and uh, your download will be started since I have already downloaded this file and I'm gonna skip this part right so next I'll use my VMware workstation uh, so once your file is downloaded what we can do is just click on file and let's create a new virtual machine and I'll just click on next and either like you know you can just uh, pick your uh, ISO file once that is downloaded right you can just click on install installer disk image and browse the file where you have uh, downloaded once that is downloaded right so this is my windows server 2019 uh, so this is the ISO file so either I can do it right now or I can just like no I'll just pick that uh, file later on so I'm going to switch so you two different ways out to do it either you can just uh, select this option and browse and select the ISO file uh, wherever you have downloaded and saved it or you can do I'll just uh, install operating system later okay so let's click on next right so uh, the guest operating system would be Microsoft Windows and the version you need to select is uh, from from this list down to select 2019 Windows Server right and click on next now uh, give the name uh, as you like so I ju I'll just uh, go with the default Windows Server 2019 uh, and the location if you want to like you know change the location where uh, where you exactly want wants to want to save your uh, this uh, VMware file once this VMware host will be created where exactly you want to uh, save that uh, entire uh, host file so either you can uh, go with the default or you can even change the directory uh, if you want I'll just go with the default for, for, the, for the time being so I'm, I'm good with this right C drive users and so on so uh, I'll just click on next right so minimum size by default it is recommended us to give 60 GB for running this uh, Windows Server 2019 so I, I would recommend if you're gonna use uh, this uh, server on uh, based on your requirement right you're gonna run a lot of services then I, I, I would suggest you to uh, pick at least 100 GB right uh, of storage of hard drive else uh, you can just go with uh, 60 or 70 uh, that, that all depends upon your uh, like you know, how much of storage you have uh, in your local machine right since I'm lagging my resources so I'll just go with the default 60 okay uh, so this is the there are two ways right like you know if you want to uh, keep if you want to split uh, uh, split virtual disk into multiple files or you want to like you know uh, keep uh, those uh, VMDK files into a single one I'll just click go with the default I'll just click this uh, store virtual disk as a single file and click on next either you can go with uh, both the both the options that's all up to you it it, 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 it won't make any differences but uh, I'll just go with, go with uh, it, uh, I just like to keep uh, things neat and clean so I just I, uh, rather than going for multiple files I'll just uh, I just want like you know virtual disk VMDK file should be stored on a single file so I'll just go with the next uh, since like now I'm using 60 GB if needed I can uh, again extend the hard drive uh, I'll show you how to do it but I'll, I'm just going with 60 default if needed we can even extend the drive we can add additional hard drive right so click on next and click on finish okay so once you'll f uh, finish it right you can see your host VMware host or uh, one more virtual machine is created here right and here now exactly I'll just edit it so you can see by default 2 GB memory it have picked right and the two processors 60 GB and NAT ad adapter right and so on and so forth so if you want to customize this just click on edit and uh, 2 GB RAM is enough I guess for running this VM host 
right so if you want to extend it you can just like you know toggle it and extend based on your uh, requirement so processor right I'm, I'm uh, it's, it's picking two processor and one core uh, per processor right and so that is fine I'll just go with the default if needed if I'll feel like you know uh, the server is uh, lagging then I can come back and like you know extend the RAM and processor if needed but so far I'm good so since as I told you right so by default we just pick 60 if you want to add multiple uh, if you want to extend your hard drive you can just click on add and click on hard drive hard disk and then click on next go with the next uh, again next and give give the size you want and just click on next and add next and finish okay so that's how uh, you can add additional hard disk if you wanted going further and if, same for uh, this like NAT adapter if you want to uh, add multiple NAT adapters you can we, we can do it um, since I'll be using this lab uh, I, I want this Windows server uh, I'll be making this as an active directory for my evng lab wherein I'll be using my uh, like you know, I'll be creating a lot of groups users and certificate uh, and so on and so forth uh, on, on the Windows server so that's the reason I'm using uh, I, I want to use this lab I want to install this server uh, so yeah uh, I'm just good with this right so once this is done uh, what we can do is uh, okay before powering up before uh, powering up this virtual spinning up this virtual machine what we can do is I want to uh, add our ISO file right so for the ISO what we can do click on edit and click on this CD DVD uh, SATA, uh, SATA drive right this this option here you will see the use ISO image file uh, and, and browse it so what is this okay uh, so these are the uh, like you no know, folders I think by default created once I uh, one, when we created this file right since the timestamp is 728 it's 729 the moment we created this file so these are the folders that have been created by virtual machine by default uh, so I'll just click click I'll just go the I just want that ISO file over I have placed I guess I have placed over here right so this is my ISO file that I have just downloaded right uh, so just click on go go with the path wherever you have kept that uh, downloaded file uh, and just click on open and click on ok right so we have uh, given the uh, we, we have pointed uh, our uh, ISO file. So once uh, once we'll just power on this machine. So uh, this is the file like uh, this is the uh, file that will be spin up, right? So just double click on this and hit enter. And double click on this uh, black screen. Else, like you know, you might uh, again you might need to uh, send control or delete option to again uh, reboot this host VMware host uh, so right so once this is spin up right you can just double click on this and click on next and click on inst install now so setup is starting so it might take some time to uh, install the setup uh, to do the complete setup but we will go through right so there are a couple of options that we can select here right now uh, so I'll just uh, enlarge my screen oh, it's not enlarging now it's I think it's visible right so uh, Windows Server 2019 is standard uh, standard evaluation and standard evaluation for desktop experience data center evaluation and data center evaluation for desktop experience so for this data center evaluation like you know there would be uh, li limited GUI options uh, this is more of rough CLI uh, command line based so what I'll do is I'll just go with standard evaluation with desktop experience uh, this option has uh, this option installed the full Windows graphical environment uh, consuming extra drive space it can be useful if you want to use that Windows desktop or have an app that requires it yeah so I just want a desktop experience uh, so I'll just go with this one right I'll just click on next and accept the license term and install only so this is the drive we have created at the, at the, at the beginning right so click on next and windows is copying files so it might take some time to uh, install the in install the setup right so let's let's wait let's just give it some time uh, for completing this setup right and we can proceed further meanwhile 
see I can't pause this video right now because I am using a different tool right now and I need to work very hard to club both the videos and, and so on so, so just, I just wait for some time till this setup is completed so I think it won't take much time two three minutes more I guess so meanwhile yeah I'll I'll just use this copy this link and, and paste it uh, over the comment section below uh, you can just click on this link come back and like you know and download this iOS file and run it okay so forty six percent going further what I'll be doing is uh, just in FYI right uh, I do have multiple uh, network adapters here I've created here right VM1 VM8 1 2 3 and 8 so uh, like you know in, into the EVNG right uh, I will be using one of the NAT adapters to for example if I'll be using uh, in, in, in Windows Server NAT adapter 2 right uh, in EVNG even like you no know, I can I can do the lab and like you no know, create some uh, NAT adapters linking to this uh, Windows Server 2019 so for 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 my labs that's something I'll I'll, I'll let you know once I'll, I'll make some videos on, on my lab uh, but yeah sounds confusing for for now but once I'll so kiss you like you know how we can uh, link these adapters uh, on, on multiple VM host then it will be uh, You'll, you'll get the clarity how, how we can play around with the uh, this adapters okay but yeah it's 97 percent and so this is my EVNG wherein I have used multiple adapters right and they have uh, rules and for 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 fulfillment of my lab that's something I'm gonna showcase you so I'm, I'm just I'll, I'll just come up with a lot of videos going further uh, for polos and, and, and so and so so that's something uh, you'll get to know in depth how we can tweak around these adapters and, and create our own labs right so yeah let's 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 go back to the setup and once this is done uh, we even need to uh, install our uh, uh, this VMware tool into this VMware uh, into this Windows server else it, it, it's gonna act up right it, it's gonna okay I'll just go and restart now so once this setup is done, uh, what the first thing the first thing we'll do is uh, like you know we can install our uh, this uh, VMware tool into this uh, Windows Server, so that like you know uh, using like you know it like you know you won't be feeling any any, any like you know glitchiness while while using your uh, mouse keyboard while typing and all that's something you'll, you'll feel if you want to be installing these tools into into the uh, VMware into this Windows server I'll, I'll just showcase you once it is once it is done so let's let's give it some time um, okay it's spinning up I guess click in the virtual screen to send keystrokes that's what I said if you want to send any anything uh, okay let's give it a password so um, I'll just create a password right what I can do is uh, CLS free. so this is my standard password that I use I'll just click on finish let me see okay So I think we are good, right? Uh, so it's saying like you know, uh, press control or delete to unlock, right? So when so this is uh, this is a trick. When you want to send any control or delete, uh, come here, right here, and just send control or delete from here, right? So this is the option we can send control or delete. If you if you're gonna use your uh, keyboard at this time, I think uh, your base machine uh, will respond. So let's give it a password and. enter so yeah I guess we are here we have uh, installed our uh, virtual machine uh, Windows server here I'll just click on yes for the time being 
So server manager is loading, right? So okay. Uh, so this is the dashboard of our Windows Server 2019, right? And uh, going for the right, we can our we can we can we can install a lot of services based on the requirement, right? Uh, if you are here, then probably you know how to do it. But yeah, so based on requirement, even I'm gonna use uh, feature sets that's uh, required for my lab for my learning. Since this is a standard evaluation license, right? Uh, my Windows license, uh, which is valid for 180 days. Uh, so keep in mind, uh, so it, it, it will work for 180 days by default. Okay, so this is just an evaluation license that we have used from the Microsoft. And once you will go on, just click on this recycle bin and click on this PC. Let's install our uh, what we call it uh, VMware tool here. Okay, so just right click over here, uh, right click on this Windows Server 2019 and install VMware tool. So once you will do it, you can see it should be reflected. Okay, now see here VMware tool is reflected, right? So just double click on this and it will do the installation. So this is really a, a, a good thing like you know you can do uh, because uh, like you know for a smooth operating for a, like you know for a smooth operations you really need to install this VMware tool so that you can easily operate uh, your uh, Windows server uh, that is running into your VMware machine right so because it's going to install some drivers uh, mouse driver video driver and so on and so forth uh, which gonna make you make a good 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 experience okay while, while, while using it so it's gonna ask for the reboot uh, so just click on yes so it won't take much time uh, for doing the reboot so once the reboot is done uh, we're gonna see uh, if we need to do anything more else we're good I'm like so this is just a quick demo how we can install our uh, Windows Server 2019 evaluation uh, into our VMware workstation and let's wait so if you want to send control delete as I said just click on this and hit your password okay so I can feel like you now um, the moment I'm, I'm, I'm using my screen uh, my scrolling my mouse it's like uh, I won't be f I'm not feeling any any glitch or any any lags in between right uh, it's, 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 it's smooth okay so if I can type something on this, uh, yeah, I can type even from my laptop. Uh, uh, yeah, seems good, right? So uh, you can play around uh, based on the requirement if you want uh, to do more. So yeah, so this is just a quick uh, uh, demo how we can install Windows Server 2019 into our VMware workstation from scratch. Feel free to let me know if you are having any sort of issues while 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 replicating this. Meanwhile, have a good day, great time ahead. Thank you so much for watching. See you until next time. Bye bye.